Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon. In this session, we are going to see how to change the default theme of MySQL Workbench tool. Means uh, in the default, you are getting the white uh, theme, right? But you want to achieve uh, dark theme, means you are familiar or uh, if you want to change that theme. So how to change that? And there are multiple colors are showing at here. You can see right now. And uh, so how to adapt that theme? First of all, visit to the dracula theme.com and in that there is a yeah they are giving us the means you windows how to activate that or in ubuntu or in mac how to do that correct so let's start one by one yeah here this is the code you can download at here from this this is the link view source code or download zip file you can download the zip file as well or if you have a git uh, installed on your machine so you can do that as well so i am going with the help of git git bash command and yes this is the and just type it and execute it so cloning into your local machine right so if here there is a c drive and users folder sagar means whatever the uh, particular um, that particular user folder so that in users and that uh, person name means suppose you are a name whatever so that come into that and then there is a uh, folder you have to open it means let's say this is the mysql workbench tool correct and if you see here get uh, there is a this folder is we are getting right and uh, on this users sagar and then mysql workbench tool and there is a copy file is important means uh, open that copy file in the notepad plus plus tool okay so this is the style right we have to apply this style in our uh, mysql workbench style right how to apply that first of all go to the file explorer then c drive okay program files after that mysql okay and then mysql workbench tool right and in mysql there is a data option so code editor is the main file we have to edit that so right click on it open with notepad plus plus right so this is the code editor correct and right now before few minutes i changed that that's why you are getting the such a color before of uh, doing the change yeah this is the code editor copy.xml means this will look like first of all when you open it so these are the default themes means in language there is a property setting keyword and after that there is a style right okay so we have to change means first of all we have to delete this right means 0 1 2 up to the 82 something sorry yeah 82 and then there is a uh, 34 and 35 we have to delete completely okay and just enter here and uh, insert the code means copy it from the copy.xml and then paste it at here that's it okay i'm just aligning it properly okay means it is the style is applied and yeah control save it and uh, yes this will look like as this right style and then just reopen the miss close the mysql workbench tool and reopen it and open mysql workbench tool mysql workbench 8.0 okay and connecting i'm connecting to the 8.0 version so yeah you can see there is a black theme showing at here right and uh, let's say yeah these are the means color let's say create schema uh, test right S C H E M colon 
execute it. Yeah, test already exists. Test one. Yes, you can see. So this is the theme we applied, and uh, you will get yeah same explanation at here. Miss copy dot xml then c programs mysql workbench tool and there is a code editor dot xml and change the that particular tag right and if you are using the ubuntu or a mac so here these are the instructions okay and uh, one more thing about the mysql means uh, how to check mysql is running or not so in services click on a mysql okay so it is in a running mode and if you can see there is administration and server status so you can see here there is a running status of the um, server okay and these are the schemas available on that particular mysql server okay and mysql workbench 2 it is the client tool and uh, miss which is connecting to the mysql service which act as a server okay so these are the some session details means let's say there is a query one so who is the host then there is a port number then there is a login username pass uh, correct uh, then after that there is a uh, product version all the things are getting at here about the session information and uh, one more thing here uh, the font is look like a very miss perfect so i want to show you one change at here if you see there is a right click properties and uh, compatibility so change hide if you on miss uh, not checked at here then click apply okay then just close it open mysql workbench 2 again so here you can see there is a blur things right means there is a something miss little bit blur if you have to do that then right click on it properties and uh, there is a compatibility so change high dpi setting apply here and click on ok then close it then when you open the mysql workbench tool next time then yeah you can see there is a yeah proper means font is less but uh, you can see there is a no any blur things come on the screen Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, please share it and subscribe my channel. Thank you very much. Bye bye.